Welcome to my lecture online. Our next example deals with a belt drive. We have two pulleys, pulley A and pulley B, and pulley B is driving pulley A by causing a tension to exist on this drive belt right here. That tension, of course, is created by pulley B turning, and so what we can say is that the tension here, let's call that T2, and T2 is going to be at maximum 800 newtons. There's a limit as to how much force we can apply and how much tension we can put on this belt so we don't want that belt to break. What we're trying to calculate is the maximum moment we can apply on A using this belt drive system like this. So what that means is we're going to have to find the tension over here and the tension on the other side of the belt, T1. And of course, that will depend upon what happens on pulley B right here. Once we calculate T2 and T1, we can then calculate the moment on pulley A. All right, let's go ahead and use our equation. We know that T2 divided by T1 is equal to E to the coefficient of static friction times the angle of contact. Now notice if this is a 20 degree angle with the horizontal, we have a similar situation here. This must be a 20 degree angle here and a 20 degree angle there which means that the angle of contact beta here on pulley B is going to be 180 degrees, which would be half a turn, minus 2 times 20 degrees, which is 140 degrees, which of course we're going to have to convert to radians. We're given the coefficient of static friction and we're trying to find T1. That means that T1 is equal to T2 divided by e to the mu sub s times beta. So in this case, we have a maximum tension of 800 newtons divided by e to the 0 0.3 and beta will be 140 degrees, but we'll have to convert that to radians, which is pi divided by 180 as the conversion factor. All right, now we're ready to find T1. So we have 0 0.3 times 140 times pi divided by 180 and that becomes the exponent of e to the x. Take the inverse of that, times 800 equals 384 newtons. So T1 is equal to 384 newtons. Now we're ready to calculate the moment we can apply to A. Notice that the tension here is equal to 800 newtons, and the tension here is equal to Oh, that's newtons, and over here it's 384 newtons. So the moment on A is equal to the net tension on that, which would be 800 minus 384, 800 minus 384 newtons, times the moment arm, or in this case the radius of the pulley, which is 15 centimeters, converted to meters, which is 0 0.15 meters. And that will be the moment, the maximum moment, we can apply to A. And so the maximum moment on A is going to be equal to 800 minus 384 multiplied times 0.15, and that gives us 62.4 Newton meters. Quick check, 800 times minus 5 equals, yes. Oh, yeah, 62.4 Newton meters. So again, the way we do that is, this is the pulley that's driving the belt. We have an angle of contact, which is 180 minus 40. We have a coefficient of static friction, and then using the equation that we found, we can then calculate the tension on the other side of the belt if this tension here is a maximum of 800 newtons. Notice that this pulley will be turning in a clockwise direction, pulling on this belt, and there'll be less tension on this side because of the difference in tension on both sides of the pulley. That difference in tension then applies to this pulley, and then we can find the moment by taking the difference in the tension times the moment arm. That's how it's done.